In 2015, archaeologist Richard Curtis made a significant discovery at an archaeological site in South Africa. Initially believing it to be the remains of a baboon, Curtis's colleagues, Jesse Martin and Angeline Lees, examined the bone fragment along with 150 others from the site. Their meticulous reconstruction work led to a groundbreaking revelation that completely reshaped our understanding of human evolution. The fossil, estimated to be around 2 million years old, challenged everything we knew about our human ancestors. The researchers, affiliated with La Trobe University in Melbourne, Australia, were excavating a renowned South African site known as the Dremel in Poliquane. Situated approximately 25 miles north of Johannesburg, the Dremel is a highly significant location for paleontologists due to its exceptional examples of human ancestors from ancient times. The Dremel Caves, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999 and famously referred to as the Cradle of Humankind, have gradually eroded over the millennia. Nevertheless, they remain an extraordinary source of valuable information. The discovery described earlier in 2015 is just one among the numerous remarkable findings at the Dremel site. In 1994, another significant breakthrough occurred when the late South African paleontologist Andrew Kaiser unearthed two fossil skulls belonging to a human precursor known as Paranthropus robustus. Designated as DNH7 and PNH8, these skulls, dating back between 1.5 and 2 million years, were considered some of the oldest hominin specimens ever found. Paranthropus, an extinct species that lived around a million years ago, shares a common ancestry with our human predecessors, but is not a direct ancestor of modern humans. The female skull, DH7 or Uridus, consisted of a partial skull and teeth, while only a jawbone with teeth remained of the male skull, PNH8 or Orpheus. These fossils were discovered in close proximity at the Dremel Caves, although they likely did not belong to the same generation, having been washed down from upper cave deposits. Kaiser romantically referred to the skulls as Uridus and Orpheus, drawing inspiration from ill-fated lovers in Greek mythology. Paranthropus robustus, being adjacent to the evolutionary line leading to Homo sapiens, offers valuable insights into our own species' development. Homo erectus, one of our direct human ancestors, played a pivotal role in the story of human evolution. Identified by its Latin name meaning upright man, Homo erectus exhibits a crucial difference from Paranthropus. While Paranthropus remains have been found exclusively in Africa, Homo erectus fossils have been discovered as far afield as Spain and the Indonesian island of Java. The African members of Homo erectus are believed to be ancestors of various human species, including Neanderthals and modern humans. Homo erectus, characterized by long legs relative to torso size, marked a significant shift from arboreal to terrestrial existence. This transition from a tree-dwelling lifestyle to bikedalism led to the evolution of our species' distinctive upright posture. Homo erectus, with an expanding brain size, developed a range of behaviors recognized as human traits. They were adept at tool-making using stone, mastered the use of fire, and lived in organized groups capable of hunting and gathering. While the presence of speech remains a subject of debate, Homo erectus is known to have communicated in some manner. The first remains of Homo erectus were not found in Africa, but rather on Java in the early 1890s. Dubbed Java Man, this fossil specimen, dating between 700,000 and 1 million years old, represented the oldest evidence of ancient humans at that time. Although its classification as a transitional species faced controversy, Eugene Dubois, the French scientist who made the discovery, argued for its significance. Additionally, the discovery of Homo erectus fossils along the Solo River in Java between 1931 and 1933 provided further evidence of the species' existence. These more recent Solo Man fossils, ranging from 108,000 to 116,000 years old, indicated the coexistence of different human species during that period. 
While it remains uncertain whether Homo erectus coexisted with Homo sapiens, it is clear that Homo erectus persisted on Earth for approximately two million years. In contrast, our species, Homo sapiens, has been present for only about 300,000 years. In summary, the discoveries made at the Dremel site in South Africa have significantly expanded our understanding of human evolution. The 2015 revelation of a two million year old fossil fragment challenged our previous knowledge of human ancestors. The earlier findings of Paranthropus robustus skulls in 1994 shed light on the adjacent evolutionary line to Homo sapiens. Homo erectus, with its remarkable behavioral characteristics, marked a crucial milestone in human development. These findings, combined with the ongoing exploration of Java Man and Solo Man fossils, provide valuable insights into the diverse human species that existed in ancient times. The question of when the ancient human species Homo erectus first appeared on Earth remains a subject of inquiry. One notable discovery with early dates is the fossil remains known as Turkana Boy, found near Kenya's Lake Turkana. Discovered in 1984 by researcher Kamoya Kamo, these remains represent the most complete skeleton of a Homo erectus individual. Turkana Boy lived approximately 1.5 to 1.6 million years ago, between the ages of 7 and 11. This finding established that Homo erectus existed much earlier than previously thought. Archaeologists continue to unearth more specimens, and each new discovery has the potential to push back the earliest known dates of Homo erectus. The team mentioned earlier, composed of researchers from La Trobe University in Australia and Washington University in Missouri, conducted excavations at the Dremel site in South Africa. Initially, a small bone fragment was found by Richard Curtis, a graduate student from La Trobe. Over time, the excavation yielded about 150 bone fragments, which were later identified as pieces of skull. Stephanie Baker, responsible for managing the Dremel site, had doubts about the initial assumption that the bone fragments belonged to a baboon. She carefully examined the fragments and realized they were not from a baboon, but from an ancient human species. Further investigation was undertaken by researchers Jesse Martin and Angeline Lees, also from La Trobe. These researchers meticulously assembled the fragile bone fragments, which required careful cleaning and precise alignment. Through their efforts, the reconstructed cranium revealed a distinctive crest of bone, indicating that the skull belonged to a Homo erectus individual. The assembled skull, named DNH-134, provided significant evidence of Homo erectus at the Dremel site. The age of the skull was determined using various high-tech methods, astonishing the scientists. The DNH-134 skull was found to be between 1.95 and over 2 million years old, making it the oldest known Homo erectus specimen. Previously, the oldest specimen was discovered in Georgia and dated to around 1.8 million years old, making the Dremel find even older. This dating had broader implications as it provided precise ages for the Dremel site and its fossils. The fossils of Paranthropus robustus, found at the site in 1994, were determined to be the same age as the Homo erectus skull. This means that Homo erectus and Paranthropus robustus coexisted in the same environment two million years ago. Additionally, Australopithecus, another ancient human species, lived in southern Africa during that time. Homo erectus is considered an important ancient ancestor of Homo sapiens, and its presence in the Dremel site reinforces the site's significance as the cradle of humanity. The discovery of DNA 134 has captivated scientists and the public alike, as it contributes to our understanding of human evolution. Professor Andy Harris, the head of the research team, described the excitement of uncovering such a significant find. The story of human evolution is the story of every person on the planet, and discoveries like DNH-134 allow us to delve deeper into our origins. While Homo sapiens currently outnumber Homo erectus in terms of population, only time will tell if our species will endure for as long as Homo erectus did. Thank you for reading. 
and remember to like and subscribe.